all right what's up everybody it's your girl poppy Lona here coming to you with another video so this reading is gonna be about the new year okay for some of you guys the new year starts on january or in january for others of you it's airy season i mean whatever resonates girl regardless we're more gonna focus on aligning with the energy okay we're gonna check what the energy is giving okay what's it giving what's going on and then we're gonna align with the most or the best energy see what you guys can do to align with that now i'm not gonna lie because these are pre-picked piles and there are some blunt messages in here so for some of the piles i might freestyle it and get into advice on how to change the trajectory <laughs> if it's like you know kind of going south but we'll talk about it some of the things that we're going to cover are what energy is coming in the new year what do you need to know what actions do you need to take what opportunities are coming in what obstacles pitfalls do you need to look out for what inspires your creative expression how does that play a role and then also how can you align yourself more with what's coming in the theme advice and then again whew, girl i gotta take a breath and then again, any type of freestyle information that I see necessary. So that's what we're going to get into. We have three piles here. I'm about to flip them over. So if you already know what pile you're feeling based off of this, go ahead, check down below in the description box. There will be timestamps. But if you're like, nah, P, I need you to flip them things over, then this next part is for you. All right, so pile one is going to be the moon cat card. Pile two is going to be the, I'm guessing, I don't know, the way I'm reading this is hypocrite, but it could be hypocrite, I don't know. I'm sure y'all will correct me. The hypocrite card. I mean, I feel like it would be hypocrite, but I don't know. It almost gives me Hierophant energy, but anyway. And then pile three is going to be the Jester. Okay. The Jester. <sighs> okay. Oh, I like that. So... Yes, you guys, go ahead and pick intuitively and I will see you guys at your pile. OMG, pile one. <sighs> Let me just tell you, like, this pile was so restless. Um, well, first and foremost, let me not start off like that because this is a great message. Um, you guys are giving CEO energy businesswoman, businessman, doctor, nurse. Um, I'm trying to get a degree. I'm trying to level up. I'm trying to become manager. I'm trying to have an empire. I'm trying to level up energy. Okay. It doesn't matter what you do. I don't care if you work at McDonald's. I don't care if you have your own business. I don't care if this has to do with I don't know you being some type of daycare provider it doesn't matter this group <laughs> there is this big like energy about leveling up extra responsibilities extra duties um higher level of professionalism um there is some strain here that comes with this you know it, it's just like almost like a king or a queen like it's not going to be the easiest job to do, but it's like you're the one for the job, okay? There are certain things coming with this energy that I feel like can be very intimidating. So with this group, okay, I'm seeing a lot of restlessness and we're going to talk about how to combat that um, by just talking about how the energy is coming through so far. Again, you can change whatever you can adjust however you would like anything that i say i might be saying it as you know a matter of fact but that's just me how i'm talking to get the message out you do what you like take what resonates leave the rest 
let me just tell y'all y'all movie there's something very 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 important about the matrix <laughs> the matrix in the series of the matrix um i don't know i really feel like this group there's someone in this group a couple of y'all that would gain a lot from watching it re-watching it um there's just a message in the video i don't know it could be like a simple statement but there's something about the matrix I'm gonna be breathing kind of you know heavy I know I already be out of breath but also the energy with this pile is just crazy so anyway your lead card is this moon cat very intuitive um very visionary very um I would even almost say mysterious some of you guys are very tapped into your emotions this could have been a big year where you focused on the divine feminine energy and i feel like there's going to be a really big shift happening for you guys going into 2024 whether the beginning of your new year is january or whether it's aries season it doesn't matter girl there's just this masculine energy that you guys are going to be in okay that you guys are going to be called to be in i'm just going to let you know that now some of you guys can have a light colored cat the letters m e and also D are coming through. You could be a Cancer or a Pisces. I mean, of course, Scorpio is a water sign as well. Um, but I'm getting heavy Cancer, heavy Pisces energy. <sighs> I gotta take a breath. So, let me just tell you. I'm over here like, do I want to read that? <laughs> because, y'all, I hate reading out the book. But I know somebody might get a message from this. So let me just go to the book really quick. For both of these cards and i'll explain it in a second but yes okay see what you could pull from this so the moon cat's driven by curiosity and intuition if you align yourself to her you will learn to grow your innate perception invite her into your company and if the mood takes her she will show you alternate byways okay so a lot of like your intuition leading you um this coming year for sure follow her padded footsteps and mimic her dancing amber eyes to understand what it is to be free some of you guys have some type of amber jewel that you guys like to um wear or like an amber artifact i don't know you ever see people that have like uh solidified amber you know what i mean and it has like bugs in it and stuff like real prehistoric stuff in there anyway girl where was I at? Her ways are enigmatic and unpredictable, yet far from irrational. Mm, that unpredictable is going to be coming back up with this tower card. We're going to talk about it. Now, for your persona. Her pupils expand, widening at the as the landscape's luminosity grows under a rising gold crescent. Her cousin Phoebe has gifted the cat freedom to wander wild from death to blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry, let me see if there's anything else in here right here those who walk in moonlight are unrestricted by convention they do not suffer obligation and are not constricted by any notion of contrived formality that's so crazy that this is saying that because for a lot of you guys this year coming up this transition is a lot about you guys really busting out of the matrix okay you guys are making your own rules. You're following your own guidelines. You're going against the grain. There's going to be a lot of like, how did Pile 1 do that? Or like, how did that pop up for Pile 1? Why does it feel like the rules don't apply for Pile 1? It's because you guys are making your own kind of environment. You're making things work for yourself. I'm telling you, watch The Matrix. I'm seeing it here, okay? Instead, they choose their empire of shadows where no cold-hearted human god demands servitude yeah you guys are really taking control i also see the number eight here big leo energy now we also have vision here with aphrodite yo i feel so out of breath <laughs> so just you know bear with your girl i feel like the, the baby's right on my lungs or something i don't know like <gasps> but anyway with this vision card right and with that aphrodite there very sexy energy, very seductive, very magnetic. 
Um, by the way, I did not mention this vision card is representing your theme. Okay, this is going to be the theme of the new year. Okay, so vision, aligning with your vision, capturing your vision, setting the standard for what you want it to be. There's a lot of control here and a lot of power here. And I also feel like you guys are going to be very attractive this year. You could be changing your style. Um, it just feels like you're very focused on your specific goals and it's making you very magnetic. Okay, that's crazy how I flipped right to it. So we have when you choose this symbol, it means that no matter what you lose in your life, something better will replace it. So keep that in mind as you're moving through this new year. Okay. Oh, girl. So with this energy, honey, I'm just going to get straight into it. I don't even want it to be all drawn out because this is the type of energy that has so many different possibilities and it's so great in power that it can be overpowering, intimidating um, if you don't kind of like ground the energy and kind of stay on topic. So I'm going to have my little, <laughs> let me get my little new year alignment spread. So for what energy is coming into the new year, we have the emperor. This for me is representing power. If we just want to like talk about keywords, power. All right. Um, I'm also getting some strength. I'm getting leadership. Um, I'm getting like dominant energy, masculine energy. Some of you guys could be becoming a father or a parent. Um, boss energy, okay, in control, ruler, okay, this is the person <laughs> who we look to for answers, I'm getting responsibility, duties, this is the thing, when it comes to what you need to know about the new year, as far as like when it comes to you aligning and just what to expect, we do have this tower card here with this Scorpio energy, that's the thing, Something that you have been asking for is coming in a lot quicker than expected, okay? This feels like it's catching you off guard in a way, but it's kind of not. It's almost like when you, you try so hard and you envision and you try to manifest and you pray for um, a certain level up, a certain position, um, a certain, yeah, I'll just say position, like... Maybe you're wanting to advance in your company. You're like, oh, I just wish this, you know, I hope I advance. You know, you're doing everything. <laughs> you're doing all of these different things, whether you know it or not. You're going through all these different trials and tribulations, preparing you and trying to align you with this um, greater goal that you have. But yet when it comes in, you're like, whoa, that was a little fast. Like, is this really here? I'm getting a lot of that. Something that you really wanted coming in very unexpected but not unexpected because the tower is not fully like turned up upright or even just reversed it just feels like it came a lot sooner you're being put in this position a lot sooner okay and when i asked about clarity around this about like what do you need to know this is very unexpected in a sense um jarring okay um a little bit scary but this is something Underneath, we have the Nine of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Justice card. Something that you need to remember is that you knew this was going to happen. <laughs> you knew that you were going to achieve this. You've been working towards this. And some of you guys have been... Um, sometimes I feel, and I'm trying to see how I can explain this without it sounding confusing. Sometimes I feel like we can do things or go through things without even knowing that they have like a greater purpose 11 11 on the clock when i looked up for example like you might pray for like let's say you pray for a position at work well god knows in order for you to get that position ruby Susie, and dandy are gonna have to you know maybe get kicked out of the company or maybe they're gonna have to be shifted around in order for you to be put in a position where maybe it's easier for you to be seen by your boss blah 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 right whatever so in the meantime okay yeah you you might be expecting this level up to just be like oh your boss comes to you they tell you hey you can have this position but maybe all this chaos breaks up okay maybe there's feuds happening with co-workers maybe there's comp competition happening maybe there's um co-workers i don't know becoming sick or making their own transitions 
in the work field i don't mean to be dark but this shit happens like you ever work somewhere and i don't know like all these co-workers end up calling off or maybe everyone gets sick at once and then next thing you know you're in a position where now you have to handle the workload and it's like you know god kind of puts you in that position because god knows that this is what's gonna help your boss to be like oh yeah Power one, you know, I'm seeing how they can really handle their shit. I wasn't really able to see them before because I was clouded and I was um, distracted by all these other coworkers here. But now that power one is in this position, I see them. OK, and like I said, <laughs> this doesn't feel like it came about as like, you know, gooey gumdrops and sugar. It feels like there were some struggles here. You guys went through some things. You had to kind of fight for this, you know, um, you had to apply willpower. You know, there were some times where you thought it was going to get you. Okay. <laughs> you know how, and I don't even want to say standing on business, girl. I'm so tired of the, the phrase standing on business. It gets on my fucking nerves, but this is like more so given business was starting to stand on you. But anyway, I just feel like what you need to know is that you are going to be vindicated and it's coming in a lot sooner than what you expected. So don't be surprised, you know. Um, we also have the justice card here. Balance, okay. Something that you're owed is being given to you, okay. Fairness. Now, this is the thing. For some of you guys, I feel like you've been in a place of isolation when it comes to work. Um, some of you guys are dealing with, like, some real competitive coworkers or, like, people distancing themselves from you. Or maybe this is just in general, I'm seeing a lot of like, I've been distancing myself from this person or this group, or they've been distancing themselves from me. And this kind of allowed me to be able to like focus. There could even be some jealousy here, whatever. Um, regardless of the fact, just understand that you're going to be vindicated. Okay. Um, you're doing the right thing. This feels like someone that's trying to be in their own lane and they're just trying to achieve their goal, but there's like some backlash happening in the background of people kind of being like, uh, like who does power one think they are? But you know, whatever, okay? Keep your eye on the prize. So that's something that you need to know. Something will be dealt with here, okay? It's like something that's rightfully owed to you is going to be given to you. And it's crazy how this Knight of Pentacles is. I'm seeing someone like work towards something and then it finally comes. <laughs> And they're like, oh, shit, <laughs> like it's here. So that's something that you need to know. And I'll kind of bounce in between these, you know, I don't know. I'll, I'll bounce in between this as we move forward. Some of you guys could also be um, there could be like a settlement or something that's reached unexpectedly, something that you've been hoping happens. I could see that something with the legal system. It feels like it's going to work out in your favor, but it comes a lot quicker than expected okay now when it talks about what action do you need to take it's funny because we have the ten of wands here <sighs> it's like damn like so you want me to bust my ass even more <laughs> let's get a clarifying card for that let me see okay where is my deck well actually i might just roll Oh, shoot. Some of you guys could be a Scorpio. Um, or there could be a Scorpio that just came into the chat because my dice, the way it rolled out, it just landed right on Scorpio. So, let's see. Can you tell me more about this Ten of Wands? Why is this coming out as what actions do they need to take? You know, of course, I think of Ten of Wands as hard working, carrying your load. You might have to even carry, like for this to be what action to take, it almost feels like you're putting the team on your back. <sighs> and I hate to give this message, okay? Because you know, I'm all about, you know, <sighs> make things easier for you. However, some of you guys during this time frame of this switch and this transition, you, like I said, you may be put in a situation that feels very uncomfortable, but you're being asked to ride it out. I know. Okay. Like I said, maybe you're the one stuck at work with everybody else's workload. I feel like 
the reason why in this situation you're being asked to carry it, like how that Ten of Wands is right there, carry it, you know, and keep your eye on the prize and just, you know, trust that everything is going to work out for you is because I feel like God's coming down and he's like, you're literally going to get exactly what you've been asking for. This is going to help you to be seen. But it feels like it is a lot. You know, it feels like it's a heavy load. I'm not going to lie. It feels like it could be a little stressful, um, heavy duty, heavy responsibilities. But for that to be like your action to take, that is what you're being asked to do. Ride it out. Continue to be a hard worker. And, you know, hold your own. Because you are going to be vindicated, okay? It's just hard for me to give that message because I don't want y'all to be like worn the frick out. But I feel like for someone here, it's like you're on the brink of being seen or vindicated. So like it's like very important for you to just ride this out right now. Like this is not the time to, you know, start dwindling. Okay, because we're right there. <sighs> yep, okay, so something important could definitely happen around Aries season. For this group, Aries season and Taurus season. You know what this is giving me? Okay. Very specific and then we're going to move on. Because I will not let this message take over, okay? Um, this is not the time to throw in the towel. <laughs> there's, a, there's a goal that you set out to have. And I feel like for a lot of you guys... Between, um, if I'm being honest, Pisces season and like, I can't even think of the months right now. Pisces season going into Aries season, going into Taurus season. Um, it's, I feel like something big is going to happen at that time. Um, so they're just saying like, just ride it out for now. Okay. Like do what you can do, you know, all of that. But I'm struggling with this message because I don't want y'all to be burnt out. So we're going we're gonna to talk about your advice in a minute, but that's the message that I see for that, okay? I also, oh yeah, for others of you, if you do want to get noticed and you want to kind of um, speed this along, I feel like you're being asked to challenge yourself when we talk about the Ten of Wands. Put yourself in more challenging situations so that you could prove to yourself that you could do it and maybe even prove to others around you if you are in a company that you can't handle it, all right? <sighs> That's also coming through. Now, when we talk about what opportunities are coming in, we have the Queen of Swords. This, to me, again, is giving this emperor. Um, there's opportunities coming in for you to be at the front line, okay? For you to be... Some of you guys are like nurses, doctors, you do something with surgery or like needles, I don't know. But this is just giving me rulership. <laughs> it's giving me in power. It's giving I'm the head and not the tail, okay? Um, I wonder if any of you guys are in like a sorority or a fraternity. But opportunities coming in are for you to be in charge, for you to be the main person that people go to for advice, for you to be the main um advocate for something specifically like it feels like you're in a position of power where people come to you to get advice or people come to you to get aid or direction um yeah it just feels like ceo energy like that's the opportunity i'm seeing that here um more opportunity to be in power elevate let me see what else. Don't mind me, y'all. <laughs> I'm over here like. <laughs> now, when we talk about what obstacles and pitfalls do you need to look out for? We have the full card. This to me is that energy that I was talking about. The full card. Um, making foolish decisions. Um, not using our time wisely. Getting too caught up in. I don't even want to say too caught up in the abundance. Because you guys are being asked to like see what the opportunities are. But like this full card is almost giving me seven of cups energy where it's like, there's too much going on. I'm adding too much to my plate. See, that's contra see that's contradiction. That's contradicting from this 10 of wands. Let me see how I can, let me sit with this message for a second because I'm struggling with this. <laughs> 
because I'm trying to see how this is trying to come through. Okay. So let's say this. Let's say I feel not that horn going off. I feel personally, you know, you guys take what you want because y'all might have to interpret that full card a little bit different. I feel there's a lot of things coming in for you as you're moving through this energy. And okay, now they're telling me that these are happening at different times. These are two totally different situations. This might have to do with your job. This might just have to do with after, you know, you get this position. For example, let's say during the year, like I said, you get into an elevated position. You're earning more money. There's more flexibility. You have more power. Okay. This fool card here, it coming up as like an obstacle or a pitfall that you might have. Maybe you're not used to having a certain sense of power. Maybe um, you're not used to being in a certain position. So then you kind of let it get to your head. Okay, this is when the ego comes out. Maybe you start to turn this queen of swords into like the reverse. Okay, or like that emperor into the reverse. Now we're abusing our power or um, we're not kind of staying. What's the word I want to use? What was that word? My, not dignity. I, I don't know what the word is, so it must not be meant to be. But <laughs> you're basically kind of like, yeah, I'll just say abusing the power, like in a sense. Or let's say you're gaining more money and um, you're just spending it all willy nilly. You're kind of forgetting like what the end goal was because it feels like you guys have different goals. You want to elevate, you want to elevate in your position because you want more money. This is just an example because you want more money, because more money would lead to you being able to have a house. It would lead to you guys being able to, I don't know, invest in other things. And it feels like because all of this is coming in with this full card, there could just be so many different opportunities in like things that you could be doing that could kind of take you off path in a foolish way where it's like you end up being like depleted. Does that make sense? It probably doesn't. But it just reminds me of someone making foolish decisions with the blessings that have came in. They've detached from reality in a sense. They've detached themselves from the end goal. And now maybe they're, they're doing too much. <laughs> they're just doing too much. Like they're not being responsible, okay? I feel like that is something that could happen during the year for this group. So I feel like being grounded and just being able to check yourself, you know, of course, have fun, you know, spend money and like treat yourself. You know, I'm real big on that, you know, but there's something here about don't do too much, like don't overdo it. And before I continue, girl, because mm -mm. let me get a clarifier. That just gives me like foolish decisions, like some type of distraction. And I don't know why. Okay, can you tell me about this full card? Okay, can you give me a clarifier? Why is the full card here? For obstacles and pitfalls. Ooh. That's funny, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, so what I said about like money, it's like forgetting the long-term goals of everything, okay? You get too caught up in the sauce in the bling of everything and then you end up ass out in the end it's almost like if someone gains a lot of money but they don't have financial literacy it's like what was the point of even getting that money if you don't know how to spend it okay that's why i always try to pray for like god to bless me but also like give me the <laughs> how do i want to say it like what how does that quote go i don't know why i'm like freezing out right now yeah, because y'all don't want to be put in the same position that you guys were in with this nine of wands where you're back having to fight to get to this position. So it's almost like when you ask for something from God, but then you want to like have the energy to sustain it. You want to have the maturity level to maintain it, to keep it going, to not just fumble the bag. OK, moving on, because woo, that message right there. So when it comes to, and that's funny that this Ten of Pentacles came out because it's also right here, I do remember. So you have what inspires your creative expression, 
we have the Empress and we have the Ten of Pentacles. So this is my pile. Like some of you guys, you, you just love luxury. Um, you like, like regardless of what you're doing right now, ideally like the luxe lifestyle, you like nice things. You like to be like well kept. You like to be able to buy stuff when you want to. Um, you like to be able to do what you want. Okay. When I think of this Empress card, I'm getting someone that's very beautiful, very, you know, it's giving fruitful. I also feel like they have enough for themselves, but they also have enough to give others. I feel like their presence in itself is just a gift. Okay. I feel like beauty really like beauty, luxury. I'm not going to lie. Money. <laughs> okay um it's just that lifestyle like that long-term wealth that is something that really inspires this group okay um and i don't think there's anything wrong with that some people like they don't like to be motivated by the money but i don't know i see that here i really do like with this ten of pentacles like you might want like when you think about life you think about it in a way where life is comfortable or life is luxurious or life is um and, you know, luxury could be different. You know, your family's taken care of, you're taken care of. There's just a certain level of ease that I feel like you want for yourself that really inspires your creative expression and just like inspires you, period. All right. So let me continue to look at this for a second. We got some Taurus energy here, some Virgo energy. Yeah, when you guys see other people um, live in life in a way where it looks very comfortable, um, I'm trying to find the word, but I think that's really what it is. It just, like, if you see people being able to do what they want, like, it just depends on who you are. Like, maybe you're someone that would like to work at home and be able to have everything you need, you know, whether it's, I don't know, you're a social media influencer and you want a certain flexibility, like, actually scratch all that let me just say it like this <laughs> you specifically there's something that is like this is what i want this is what would be comfortable for me this is what would be the best almost like life like i hate to be dramatic but this would be the best for me and it feels like your money's good family's good you have plans for the future it almost i don't want to say like it almost feels like you're untouchable it doesn't you know no one's untouchable but it just feels like your foundation is very firm and very solid okay that is when you operate at your best let me pause this really quick okay we had hit that 29 minutes yeah i don't know that's what's coming through for me and i feel like that's coming through to help you guys just uh to stay focused on like what your end goal is because there's a reason why you're doing this, okay? Which is why we go back to still continuing to make very mature decisions um, as we're gaining this wealth and as we're gaining this great energy that I'm seeing coming in, this boss energy coming in, okay? Um, in order for you to keep it long-term, okay? And maintain that longevity with this goal that's gonna be achieved, um, we're going to have to remember, like keep it in the forefront. What is it? Why was I doing this in the first place? I'm not just doing it for the moment. I'm not just doing it to receive the money for right now. No, I have a vision and my vision is long term. I want a certain level of comfort for the long term. Okay. Like I'm not just thinking like short term. I'm thinking long term goals. Okay. That's kind of what I'm seeing there. That's so funny how that's right there like that. Now. I'm <laughs> moving forward. When we go with how can you align yourself more with what's coming in, which this is so funny. <laughs> you guys are going to definitely have to find balance between these messages. It's so funny. You have the Four of Swords and you have the Ace of Cups. I feel like being that this is talking about how you can align with this as if it's happening beforehand. One, there's a level of R&R, &R, a rest and recovery that's going to be needed. <sighs> and it's so funny because these are like contradicting each other, this Ten of Wands and this Four of Swords. There's a certain level of rest and recovery that's going to have to be needed as you're moving through this energy, okay? 
So for me, this is someone finding a work-life balance. Um, just the balance between work, your social life, and things of that nature. With this Four of Swords, when I think of the Four of Swords, not only do I think of someone like resting and recovering, but I think of someone like getting their mind right. They're removing the clutter. They're getting aligned with their vision, okay? They're sitting back. The swords, as we see here, they're very, um, <laughs> it's the straight and narrow, okay? They're not all like crisscross, applesauce, bent. They're very straight, okay? And it's funny that the Three of Swords is right here because I feel like you guys have fumbled before, okay? You've been through stuff as all of us have, but I feel like I keep hearing, but I'm not going back to that, okay? There's been enough that's happened, enough fumbling for you to be like, okay, I, I'm i gonna use that as my motivation for me to stay on par. So let me face this, let me get my mind right, let me like organize my thoughts, maybe even get a planner for some of you guys. Um, let me get organized. Let me rest when I need to, especially if I know I do have to bust my ass at work. If I do have to bust my ass in other areas during this time, let me make sure that when I do have free time and when I do have time to, um, you know, kind of like unwind, I do that. All right. This is knowing like when to take a break and when to not. I don't know. Let me let me go again. <laughs> this is knowing when to take a break and when to like go full force towards your goals okay whoever that message is for they're gonna understand exactly what i'm talking about and it's crazy that these are both cats and with this ace of cups you know i think of opportunity being open to these opportunities and that's the thing with this pile and i feel for you you know there's a lot of like contradicting crisscross messages um and i feel like it's because there's a confidence that comes with this group and it's like, I know I'm meant for greater. I know I'm meant for this certain lifestyle. I know, I know, I know. But there's always this like sliver of doubt where you're like, but is that true? You know what I mean? And I feel like that's why there's different messages here, especially when we go up here with the tower card where it's like the tower is kind of like sideways because it's something that's unexpected, but it's not unexpected. It's something that you've been wanting. It's something that you know you're capable of doing. But for whatever reason, there's always like this little sliver of doubt. So I feel like it's going to be very important for you guys to be open to the abundance coming in and um, be receptive to it, of course. Okay, yeah, all right. You hear my phone. Also, for someone here, you're going to be able to make time. There's something about family here and like whatever makes you happy, like certain relationships um, if that's something that you need in order to help you stay balanced through this without you getting distracted um, because you want to use your time wisely, you know, definitely invest in that. There's a level of balance here. Like you don't want to be putting so much into maybe your career field, um, knowing that you'd be needing that personal connection or you'd be needing to spend time with your significant other or you'd be needing to spend time with your kids. It's like you don't want to have to put so much into your career to where all of that kind of falls apart. Um, you want to have a balance. And if some of you guys are trying to achieve certain goals so that you can have that balance, because once you achieve this goal, it, it kind of opens up that flexibility. That needs to be at the forefront, okay? I also feel like with this Ace of Cups, make sure your cup is full before you start giving to others when it comes to your emotions and like giving yourself and your time because you guys have a lot that you're focusing on okay you guys could sometimes want to give to people and I'm not talking about like how I was talking about in the work field I'm talking about just in general sometimes you guys just want to give to people and give them your time your space your energy without your cup even being full and it's like that might be something that we need to work on, okay? Maybe even right now, all right? So get your mind right. Um, I'm almost getting like, you know when someone goes on vacation and their boss is like, okay, use this time wisely to like unwind and really have fun and bask in it because, you know, we're going to have to gear up <laughs> after this, okay? I see that happening for you guys. But also how you can align with this energy is just getting your mind right. Organizing your thoughts becoming more organized. Um, some of you guys cleaning your space, making things around you 
more airy, okay, for some of you guys. Um, a better working environment. Um, putting some nice artwork around, flowers. I don't know why I'm getting that, but some of you guys just work better when you're around beautiful things or things that look good to you, whatever that is. And I think that's why that Empress card came out with that creative expression. <sighs> so, girl, let me see if there's anything else because, honey, this was that group, honey. And, girl, wait till I get to Pile 2 because Pile 2... I'm going to have to rip Pile 2 a new one. Mm, it's going to be uncomfortable. But yeah, I'm going to leave that right there. <laughs> because this is really just an alignment spread. And I think maybe, I don't even want to say I'll do it. But I think, I don't know, I'll do something more like, not alignment, but more like what's happening at a later date. But I don't know, girl. Because this was a lot, okay? So, yes. <laughs> pile 1, that was your spread. Please let me know how it resonates. And I'll see you guys down below in the comments. Okay, <laughs> pile two. So this is the thing. This pile is gonna be very specific. It's also gonna be very blunt, all right? This is one of my piles where I really just have to give it to you straight, okay? And no worries, because we're gonna talk about the energy and then we're gonna also talk about the issues and then we're gonna talk about how to align with the most positive <laughs> energy um, that you guys are able to like, you know, get or like get to. I'm trying to even see how to say this. We just need some redirection. There's some redirection that needs to be had here because it's giving, we're starting off the new year on the wrong foot. We're bringing in stuff that we've already known to not work. We're, we're still dealing with people that have not been doing us right. We're bringing a lot of imbalance into a new year, expecting for it to be balanced, okay? Um, and that's, you know, we don't want that. So let me, before I even get into all this, like I said, just know that we are going to get into advice. We're going to talk about the discrepancies that I'm seeing here. Um, and again, this is either going to be a pile or it's not. And I'm going to try to deliver it. Well, no, I'm going to just give it straight. So let's just start with this first card. And again, there's no judgment. Sometimes this happens. At the end of the day, realistically, whether you start the new year in January or around Aries season, like you ever just have these big plans for like the new year to just be, oh yeah, new year, new me. But as soon as January 1st come, it's like stuff don't feel different. <laughs> and then two months after you're like, damn, like, can we just start over? Like my, my new year didn't start yet. Like I'm gonna just, let me just <laughs> press it out a couple more months. You know, that happens. And I feel like we're going to talk about why that's happening and then how to kind of like shift the energy. It had already started off a little wonky because of the card, um, the hypocrite. <sighs> and then your theme that came out for um, the new year is trapped with this crow. Okay. So already there's like a certain level of authenticity that I feel like your soul wants to reach. I have to be honest and you either take the message, you know, cause a hit dog will hold. Okay. But this is what it's giving. Um, the questions I have to ask is like, where are you holding other people accountable, but not holding yourself accountable? Okay. Where are you holding yourself back? Where are you keeping yourself in a cycle? Where are we continuing damaging behavior um, with expectations that we're not going to get the same damaging result that we've gotten before? Who are we holding on to that's not good for us? Who are we entertaining? Um, yeah, it's, it's given a lot of that. Where are we not being honest with ourselves, honest with others? Are we at this time trying to, you know how they say, keep up with the Jones? Like, is there any parading like a certain lifestyle? Like you ever see people that will parade a certain lifestyle um, to keep a certain image, but maybe like at home, it's like not, <laughs> it's not matching up. Your spirit wants you to be happy in real life. They don't want you to just be happy for whoever that applies to. They don't want you to just be happy and give off a certain image. 
to the masses because it's just like whatever to social media they want you to actually feel fulfilled and happy when you're alone with your lonesome or just like on the inside you know you know how people be like i'm pretty in real life or i'm happy in real life like that's the goal here so another thing is like where are you adding like where are you taking other people's expectations and just making them your own and then kind of like acting off of that because other people want you to do that like trying to uphold an image for other people when it's draining you that's some of the energy i'm getting so listen with this card right here right I'll show y'all i can't remember if i showed you guys already i'm gonna read from the book i hate reading from the book but i'm gonna do it so we have the hypocrite whilst professing holiness and transparency and transparency cynically connives and manipulates why then would we want to have anything to do with such a person? Ask yourself, are you the hypocrite? And the hypocrite can be in different ways. Or is there someone around you that you're <laughs> continuing to be around that's a hypocrite, bringing the energy down? Anyway, the answer is we all tend to want more from others than we demand from ourselves, which by definitions means we are duplicitous. The hypocrite's presence reminds us that we need to keep our two-faced tendencies in check. Ooh, girl. Yeah. Yeah. Occasionally, he will seem to use his power for the good of others, but only if it advances his nefarious plans. He's ruthless, and it would be advisable to avoid openly crossing him. Some of you are carrying that energy. Some of you have someone around you carrying that energy. Um, and again, it doesn't have to be to the T with that specifically. It's just going back to those questions. Sometimes I feel like we can put so many expectations on other people, but it's like, what do you bring to the table? Or like, especially like in a relationship, it's like you want this person to do X, Y, and Z, but what do you do? You know, so you have to ask yourself that it's time to really get real. Now, moving forward, when we go to this trap card again, it is this crow I really don't feel like picking it up, y'all. Well, I'm going to do it. <laughs> but we have the crow here. I feel like, you know, this is someone, this is representing someone that wants to be set free, okay? Um, for some of you guys, it's going to take you have like feeling trapped in this energy that doesn't really feel authentic to what you really want for you to be able to break free, okay? Um, it's going to take some heartache, some um, bumps on that noggin, okay? It is giving a little bit of a hard-headed energy. And again, I am not, honey, I'm not judging because, honey, listen, I haven't been here before, okay? But this is what it's giving, okay? So let me just go into the card. Okay. So we have trapped. My dear sweet child, do you feel as if you're trapped in your life right now? Do you sense that you cannot do what you really want to do because others have expectations of you that may not be that you may not be able to fulfill? Do you feel as if you will never get what you want or go wherever you want to go? Have patience for truly you are in a temporary prison that exists in your mind. Your circumstances, this is great, no matter what they are, will change and you will be free to experience the life you wish to lead. But you got to be real with yourself. Okay, pow two. In these times, dreaming is the best antidote and, of course, patience. Consider the story of the half-raven boy trapped in conflict until he finally follows his heart. Trust in me, for I will show you when the cage doors open so that you can fly free. So for some of you guys, you might be my people, and we've all been here before, most of us, where you're giving a lot of other people advice on how to set themselves free and how to be 808, how to be in this powerful energy and how to be authentic to themselves. But in certain areas in your life, you're like, damn, why can't I do that for myself? I feel like this is to help you or this message is coming through to be like let's bring awareness to this and then let's like redirect okay so again that is the theme that i'm seeing for right now when it comes to your 2024 and if you're not really feeling it we're going to talk about how to shift it okay and once you acknowledge it if it applies girl the shift is already going to be happening but let's get into more details give me one second as i pull up this spread 
that's crazy how the energy switches i feel so much more calmer <laughs> or so, like much calmer in this pile versus the last pile it was so restless i mean it was real good energy but it was just so restless but anyway so what energy is coming well actually no i can't even get there yet let's go back to this trap because i did pull two clarifying cards and i asked specifically i said what exactly is making my pile two feel trapped what are they trapped with what are they trapped in what's going on the king of pentacles came out for, so for some of you guys i'm not gonna lie it could be a specific person um with that i'm getting a person it could be an air sign it could be like a relationship someone that i feel like I feel like you already know that this is not okay, okay? Or this is not working. This is reminding me of like people who set, they're like, oh, okay, I'm gonna leave this in 2023, but then they don't leave it in 2023. They bring it, <laughs> they bring it with them. Um, this King of Pentacles can also talk about like ego, okay? Over obsession with money, finances, and just image. Um, I'm seeing this as more of the negative side of the King of Pentacles, okay? Um, where can we get that in check? And some of that stuff I already kind of talked about. Um, and then you see this big head. He has like a big brain. <laughs> this could also talk about just being trapped in your mind. Um, some here, you may also feel more comfortable living out the life that you want in your mind. It's like, when are we going to actually do what we need to do in the 3D so that we can make this an actual thing? You know what I mean? We also have this Seven of Pentacles, and it's interesting because there's three people here. I'm not going to lie. I know for a fact I'm going to be talking about some outside people. I don't know if it's a third-party situation. That's only for some of y'all, and I feel like you would know if that's your situation, if it has to do with love. Um, for others of you, it's just the people that you hang around, the things that you entertain, the people that you invite in. This is giving me, like, you know these people are not your friends. You know this is not good for you. Why are we still trying to wait on this and, and see if it changes but anyway with, with this seven of pentacles excuse me a lot of earth energy and it's funny because those 11 11 on the clock these clarified each other too so an earth sign um but also with that seven of pentacles it's like con consistently waiting and doing the same thing almost tediously expecting something else to change giving something long-term energy that just does not deserve that long-term energy um it might be time to just be real about your situation and be like okay this is not working i need to change x y and z so that i can shift myself out of the, this perspective or off of this trail because i've been doing this for a long time putting the work in, trying to get this to work, trying to get this connection to work. I've been moving like this, you know, moving around like this, having this attitude. It's not working and I have to be real with myself and, you know, combat that. But anyway, so what energy is coming into the new year? You have the two of pentacles in reverse. This is what I was saying. It It's giving imbalance. It's giving like we're kind of starting off not a little rocky. And Rocky, when I say Rocky, this doesn't have to be like, oh my God, something bad is going to happen. Everybody's situation is different. This is just giving me like, you're not as prepared as you want it to be. It's almost like um, with Christmas, like some of you guys might even feel like right now, you're not as prepared as you want it to be. And that's okay. Um, you know, this happens. Not everybody goes into the new year. I don't care what they say, feeling like they got everything. Like it's just a hurt. It's just a switch. Like, okay, we go from one day to the next. We're now in January and it's a switch. Okay. It doesn't work like that. So that's okay. Um, but with this two of pentacles, it just feels imbalanced. We're starting off a little bit rocky. Um, this could be due to some procrastination. Like I said, it could be due to some of the things that we're bringing into the new year. Um, some of you guys might have even had a, a certain moment, a tower moment or something unexpected that came up and kind of just like ruined the plans. All I'm saying is right now, <laughs> the energy that's coming into the new year is a bit unbalanced. What do you need to know? Furthermore, we have the three of swords. <sighs> so this is the thing. I see some pain and some discomfort here. This feels to me like some of you guys could already be dealing with the breakup. Some of you guys could already be in the mindset of knowing that you have to leave something behind. Some of you guys are still entertaining something that has not been feeling good. 
And I feel like the more you stay in that position, the more it's going to eat at you and be like, oh, this just doesn't feel good. It's, this is almost giving me like a, something getting agitated. You know what I mean? You ever have like, um, I don't know, like a bump or a scratch or something that starts to get infected. You know, you try to leave it alone, but it gets infected. This, this is what this reminds me of. Something that we've been letting kind of just do its own thing, hoping that it's going to just, you know, fix itself. But then it starts to get infected. You know what I mean? Um, almost like one of those hangnails that you just kind of leave alone. But then like, I don't know, something happens and then it's just like, it's a whole thing going on on your thumb. Just the whole thing, right? That's, <laughs> that might be a bad example, but for real. Um, some of you guys also, what do you need to know? Third party situation. I mean, flat out it doesn't always have to be this for everyone but i'm not gonna lie some of you guys are dealing with someone that you've already known to have shown you um that they don't know how to be faithful that they're dealing with other people that i don't see changing at the top of the new year also with this three of swords this could also represent just um some of you guys have lost people this month if you haven't already um, I'm not saying that you will. I'm just saying like it's just that residual energy kind of traveling into the new year, especially when you lose people. You know, it's like, dang, this Christmas just doesn't feel like Christmas anymore. This just feels a little bit different. And with that energy, you just have to flow through those emotions. Um, take the time that you need to heal, to feel that energy so that you can actually push past it. Some of you guys might also be going through um, seasonal depression right now. This is something, what I will say about this, this is something that you will overcome. For some of you guys, that Three of Swords energy is going to be a quick, we're going to overcome this. Um, once we deal with it, it's just going to take time moving into, I feel like more so moving into spring, if I'm being honest. Now, <laughs> when we talk about what action you need to take, we have this Sun card and we also have the Ace of Cups. Is it the Ace of Cups? Yes. No, 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 no. Hold on. That's not the Ace of Cups. Is it the Ace of Cups? It is the Ace of Cups. So we have the Sun card and we have the Ace of Cups. Sorry, I'm thinking about the last pile. I'm like, that'll look different. But the page, it's a whole different deck. <sighs> Leo energy. That's giving me strength, willpower, setting shit straight. Looking at things with the wide eye view and being like, okay, this is what it is. All right, facing stuff head on with others, with yourself, battling your ego, getting that in check. Um, and then also with this Ace of Cups, like asking yourself what do i want i also had to give this message to pile one um if your cup's not full right now but you're steady trying to give out to other people we need to change that it's like where can your cup be filled more okay how can you fill your cup right now for some of you guys it is gonna be by disconnecting from the bullshit to be able to like invest in yourself some of you guys might need this disconnection period especially for those of you who might be going through a separation with someone, this is happening to help you find your light within yourself and kind of come back to understanding that you really don't need nobody else but you. You know what I mean? Um, when we look at like just the general energy that I'm feeling, it's just more so empowering yourself. There could have been some type of codependent energy here with the friend group relationship or just whatever the fuck, or even just like um, a certain mentality. And I feel like when it comes to the action that we need to take, it's like, one, being real with ourselves, going at it, shining light on it, facing it, calling it out, and then just addressing our needs. I also feel like when it comes to the actions that you need to take, put yourself around people and people, places, and things that make you happy, experiences that make you happy. Um, you don't have to keep the same crowd around you if they're not giving the energy that you need you can find new friends or you can find new groups you could just have to allow yourself to be able to do that yeah it might not happen in a day but it might be time with this sword right here to cut some shit out so that we can start to make room for this ace of cups energy that i actually see coming in for you guys uh-huh yep i see a lot of good stuff coming in around spring for sure okay when it starts to get warmer not to say that there's not going to be good stuff that comes in prior to that but I see that because it feels like some of you guys are gonna have to kind of be in this I hate to say it like this but this hard-headed type of energy um between like now and like February March um but then you're just gonna be like okay I had enough like I'm done with this like girl I'm not doing this like for real <laughs> we're done with this 
So I do see that here. I see your energy also coming back. Once your energy starts to come back, you know, allow yourself to go out, have fun, be seen, and just do you. I do see you guys having a moment where you do have to cut someone or something out. And it does create this like, fuck you type of energy. But it is going to give you, I ain't going to lie, like a boost. Okay. And we're going to talk about that because this group, you guys could be artists. I do see you guys kind of finding creative expression or even gaining energy from your downfalls. For example, you ever known people, I've been one of these people before, where they go through a breakup and then they just level up after? Or um, some artists, like they write their best music when they go through painful situations, when they go through heartache or betrayal, um, when they go through these dark periods. There's a lot that's going to come from this shadow period or whatever this is that I'm picking up on okay um so use that to your advantage too once you know it starts to kind of click where you're like okay yeah I'm about to turn this into I don't know I'm about to turn my pain into some cash <laughs> it doesn't have to be cash but I just see someone taking their pain and like putting it into their their artwork or their craft or um their story their book and using that as like motivation to get themselves on track after they hold themselves accountable, of course. Now, what obstacles and pitfalls do you need to look out for? Is this two of wands? I'm telling you, this is giving me, do you want the red pill or do you want the blue pill? Um, this is giving me like the devil on one shoulder, the angel on the other. Um, I just feel like with this two of wands, there, there's just gonna be this, there's gonna be things that occur where you have to make a decision um on okay do i want to go left or do i want to go right and you have to decide whether that's right or wrong um some of you guys might take some missteps and kind of move backwards a little bit but it's okay we're still going to progress but i just see that being the main thing that becomes an issue like i said with these two cards it's this two energy um it's like should i be friends with them should i not should i try this again should i not should i try to collaborate with that energy or should i not um, and that's just going to take time because you guys are shifting into this energy where you're trying to, I don't want to say be cutthroat, but you're, you know, things have to happen to align with this energy of like really removing X, Y, and Z out of your life. Sometimes it's not as easy to make certain decisions. You know, it's a shift, especially if we're just now starting to see, um, these things about ourselves or about our situation. It takes time to really fully cross over the finish line. Um, because there's going to be temptation to go back, forward, back, sidestep, you know, things like that. So with this two of wands, I feel like those are the biggest obstacles that I'm seeing right now is just <sighs> those missteps. Okay. Backsliding. It almost gives me relapse energy in, in a sense, um, where it's like, I hope that wasn't a trigger word for someone. I'm sorry, but and I'm not even talking about like with drugs or anything. It just feels like, you know, when you try to cut somebody off and it's like you go through that period of kind of cutting them off, but you're not really cutting them off like the way you want to, like a clean cut. It kind of goes like, y'all don't talk for like two weeks. And then maybe the next time y'all don't talk for like five weeks. And then the next time it's like three months. And then you finally like just call it quits. It just feels like there's that type of energy here. Um, I see some rebuilding. Sometimes when I look at the two of wands, I think of someone having to kind of take a step back from that three of wands energy where they're ready to take action. And they got to kind of take a step back to replan certain things because um, they could have took a misstep or maybe just because it almost feels like you guys are going back into the planning stage, especially if you guys are cutting certain people out and changing how you look at things. It's like a not necessarily like a starting fresh, like completely. Um, this doesn't feel like a backslide like that. It just feels like we have to replan how we want things right now and really kind of face that. So I see some struggle with that. But like I said, I just feel like this is going to be a part of that process of breaking ties. Um, and I feel like this is something that's going to be necessary for whomever to go through in order for them to see why it's important not to have to go backwards. OK, anyway, so when we talk about what inspires your creative expression. We do have, give me one second, I want to make sure. Oh yeah, this is it. The Three of Pentacles, let me just set that right here. And we have Judgment. 
I feel like, like I said, your past experiences, um, some of you guys, you guys get a lot of um, motivation and inspiration from other people or from watching other people kind of overcome things that you've went through. Like, you know, when you go through something and, you know, you didn't have like the right resources before to be able to deal with it. But then, I don't know, you find someone that has a similar story and they're able to speak on that. It feels like that really helps you guys. I don't know, something about other people hearing their ideas, hearing how they made it through or just being able to admire their work. Some of you guys like to work with people. You like to be around people. You like to collaborate. Um, if it applies... For those of you, I don't know, if, if in any way this applies, um, joining groups like support groups or like groups that are like that have a common interest in what you have, whether it's on Facebook or like a therapy group. I don't know. It doesn't have to be focused on therapy. It could be anything like you guys. It could be a craft group. There's something here about this new form of people that I'm seeing or just people in general that's going to be real inspirational for you coming this year when it comes to like your creative expression, how you want to show up and just, you know, I don't know, just your craft specifically if you are someone that does something in like the artistic field. But anyway, with this judgment card, I'm not going to lie. I also feel like this is my group that when y'all go through stuff, y'all could turn it into artwork. Like <laughs> y'all know how to rebirth stuff into artwork. Okay. Past experiences, you know how to take it there. Okay. Um, I'm telling you, I keep seeing someone paint and like, it just has all this emotion. You guys are very talented. So if you are, if there is anyone here that does something where, um, it's kind of fueled by their past experiences, I'm telling you that is a gift. All right. I don't know. There's something about that. That is a gift, but give me a second. because There's a lot of energy. <sighs> is there anything else I want to say about that? This three of pentacles and this judgment card. I feel like this group, I'm getting some Scorpio energy here. I feel like this group is meant to kind of make, why, why was I about to say that? I was about to say make amends, be friends with like, I don't want to say it like that, like the dark side or like the shadow energy. It's not that. It just feels like once you guys are able to master this more darker energy or um, it doesn't even feel dark. It just feels scorpionic. Instead of like letting it take over and turn you or I don't know. It just feels, this feels very like a cult. Like it just, there's something about you guys where it's like the alchemy between how you can kind of shift between the light and the dark energy, if you will. Um, it's a gift that's very specific to this pile. Okay. And I feel like once you're able to have a grasp with that, while we're moving the distractions, like unstoppable and it's hard for me to even explain it i'm not even going to be able to articulate that the way i want to it's in my mind i'm literally seeing what i want to say but it's just not coming out um but you ever see somebody like the potential is there like they, they have so much potential and you're just like if they could just get rid of this or fight this get that off them or do x y and z and then kind of like i don't know instead of feeding into it in this way and giving it energy but instead putting it towards you know, putting that fire towards their craft over here or like, I don't know, there's like a way to take some of this toxicity that I'm picking up on and like kind of morphing it into like, I don't know, something spectacular, okay? Whoever that's for, they'll get that. But if it's not for you, I'm sorry, just let it go over your head because I don't know how to explain it, okay? But now we have number seven. How can you align yourself more with what's coming in? I mean, flat out, we got the five of pentacles. I keep seeing these three people. I don't like that. Um, and there's this sword here. Then we got this devil here. This is giving me the devil card, ace of swords. We got to be real. Where are we being codependent? Like I said, I've already said it a bunch of times. We have to be real with ourselves and real with the people around us and real with the interactions that we're having. It might be time to set some people straight. Um, it might be time to set yourself straight. It might be time to cut the ties with s certain people, <laughs> specific people. Someone's name can start with an S. That's what I'm seeing here. Five of Pentacles. Walk away. Let it go. Accept the letting go. Accept the separation. Because especially if there is anyone that you're separated from right now that has done you wrong, really ask yourself, like, what were you gaining from that? 
What are you really missing out on? And it's sometimes it's hard to see past the codependency, but really, like, what were you gaining from that? You could do bad all by yourself. And we have the tower card clarifying that. Let it fall down. <laughs> when it all falls down, literally, that's literally what I'm getting here. Let it fall. Let people, places, things crumble because it's going to happen. That's the best way you can align. And when I said, okay, this is the thing, because I know for this question, I did read it as how can you align yourself more with what's coming? But I did rephrase it when I pulled cards because some of you guys don't want to <laughs> be in the energy of like, just imbalance. I more so asked like, what would be the advice to get yourself back on track to align with the best possible energy that is like at your disposal for this new year? What can you do? And it's really like releasing yourself from these structures that have already been showing you that they're not good. Let it fall. Let it, let it go. Cut them off. Get rid of it. Okay, hold yourself accountable, hold other people accountable, and then actually stand on what it is that you said you were going to do. Okay, that's what I'm seeing for this pile. So I'm going to leave it there. Girl, not me getting cut off. But anyway, um, I don't know where that just cut off. But yeah, you guys, that's going to be the end of the spread. I hope I got all the messages out. If I didn't, because um, I don't know where that cut off. Just let hmm, it's some, I don't know, for some of y'all, it's people. It's a certain direction that you're going in. It's like, if all the odds are starting to go against it, I'm telling you, that might be God trying to remove it out of your life. Like, because there's a level of ease. Like, there's a level, level of freedom that I feel like you're meant to have. But, like, we have to let shit fall over. We have to learn these lessons. Okay? Blunt truths, hard lessons coming in. We have to deal with that. Okay? Hold ourselves accountable and hold others accountable. So, yes, you guys, that was your spread. Please let me know how it resonates, and I'll see you guys down below in the comments. All right. Pile three. Those of you that chose the jester. I'm getting a lot of Aquarius, Capricorn, um, Sagittarius energy, and even Libra and Gemini, okay? Um, but you don't have to be. You could have strong placements somewhere in those signs. But, um again yeah see that's what i'm saying like we even got the magician right here i don't know we got the devil over here and then this is giving me full card energy um i know you guys can't see down below but it's okay <sighs> girl i like this energy or boy whoever's watching this very good energy um your message although there's like a big punch behind it you guys have a lot of major arcana here a lot of heavy hitters but the the message is very straightforward, okay? So, let me see where I want to start. So, let's start with this jester. First of all, a lot of you, or someone here, the energy that I'm picking up on, because um, it was taking me a long time to get into the energy. Very protected energy. Some of you guys are very goofy, but you're, I don't know, you could be like a very goofy introvert, very artistic. There's kind of like a trickster energy here but i can appreciate it some of you guys have really mastered the art of deception in a way where it has helped you to kind of like i don't want to say expand now some people might be like deception oh my god but no sometimes you need deception um i don't know maybe someone's trying to harm you in some way so now you have to kind of deceive and trick the enemy to kind of get off your back for you to be able to push forward sometimes um it could be a part of your plan to allow people to kind of think that you're someone that should be underestimated um so that they you know kind of back off but then you know you just pop out this is very like strategic in a way but I don't think you guys are trying to be like this. I think you guys naturally just are mysterious, funny, jokester type of energy. Might not even take life too serious. Um, or this is what people think about you. This is this pile right here. I like this because it's very multidimensional. It's very out the way. Um, it's very like you never really get too close to me. Um, but you're always wondering what I'm doing. Y'all know I like that energy, like that kind of exclusive energy. You guys are very exclusive. That's how it feels to me. Um, but let me go into, let's start with the book. Sorry, I'm trying to see where I want to start, girl. 
I had to get y'all reading out the way before I started getting, um, what's the call? I can't even think of the word. Not delusional, but delirious. Shoot, they might be the same thing. I don't know, because I'm over here hungry. I just ordered me some food. Girl, I can't wait till it gets here. Ooh, you just don't understand. And then I'm going to go watch my Gossip Tea channel that I've been watching. Because I think something just happened. <sighs> I don't even like keeping up with them, but this one creator that I watch is so funny. I guess something just happened with uh, Krishan and them. But anyway, so we have the jester may act like a fool, but he is far from being one. A philosopher, clown with an ironic sense of humor. He refuses to be misdirected by the whims of kings. Unlike the puckish trickster who is dedicated to causing insightful mischief, the jester takes a wider view of existence. His wit is at root profound and his eyes are open to both the grandeur and the futility of existence. This to me is that energy that I was just describing to y'all. Um, it doesn't feel malicious in any way. Like when I was talking about that trickster energy, it just feels like you guys are natural magicians. Like people always wonder like, how did they do it? Like, how did they do that? Like, I'm not gonna lie. You guys do face a lot of envy. There is a lot of competitive energy around you guys at this time, and we are going to talk about that. But, honey, I see y'all prospering. Like, this is great, okay? Um, but don't let this positive message, you know, make you let up, okay? We don't want to, you know, sag off on what we need to do. But let me see what else I want to um, read off of this, if anything. Look at this. Hopping absurdly from one leg to the other, the jester pulls gargolesque, gargolesque faces. Pretending to be simple-minded, he intentionally places himself at the bottom of the pecking order. I'm telling you, I love that energy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Because it's like, it's one thing, it's like the art of deception, but then there's like this... I don't know. There's this way of like really getting ahead when you're underestimated. Like I've been underestimated so many times in life. It's crazy to me because I'm like, how did you not know I was going to be that? You know what I'm saying? But like, I don't know. It's just that thought process. Like some people might think you're very quiet and then like, I don't know, then you pop out and you just have this strong voice. You're able to advocate for yourself. Like people just get their own narrative about you and they get stuck there. So when you burst out of that, or when you do these magnificent things, you're like, whoa, like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? But anyway, girl. So, yeah, I just wanted to read that. Some of you guys might find some insight from that. You might resonate with that energy. Orange could be your favorite color, maybe green or blue. I'm just seeing that here in yellow. But anyway, we do have the numbers 23 and 45. Some of you, could, um, some of you guys might be around those ages. <sighs> okay, slow it down, girl. But this is what was funny about this. These cards here <laughs> are representing the theme. So how it came through was, first we had the message card or the message card came out. Like after a while of trying to shuffle, I'm like, okay, this is a real secretive pile or like this is a pile that's very hard to read or people have a hard time reading this pile or they're just very exclusive. But finally something came out, it was message. So then I clarified it, right? I was like, okay, let me clarify it. Girl, why did listen come out? I'm like, okay, so there's just this very mysterious, like, we're going to give you the details, but we're not going to give you all the details. Very intuitive energy, very, like, innate. But let me just refresh myself to go back to this because I feel like there's going to be a lot of, like, you needing to listen and pay attention to where you're being led, where you're being called to, and then acting on it, okay? Taking in information and using that to your advantage. Researching, um, but let me see. He is over there on that game going off. <laughs> so we have get ready and pay attention. You're about to get a message with special meaning. So this is what was funny about it. Because the card says, maybe someone will text you something nice or you will find out about something in a phone call from a friend. Mm. So a lot of good news opportunities may be coming through um, by means of messages in these ways. Um, some of you guys have been wanting an opportunity that's going to involve a phone call or like someone needing to call you in order to tell you that you got the job or you got the opportunity. 
I see that happening. Someone here is a broadcaster, a podcaster, or you do something with your voice. But anyway, it says, or maybe I will send you a sign in nature that will point you in the right direction. Regardless of what you ask, you will soon know the answer, or at the very least, you would know the way. A message is coming. Choose another card if you need to know what the message will be about. Girl, choose another card, then I choose another card, and it's listen or listening. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so basically, I'm gonna let y'all interpret that how y'all want to. Again, we have the card message. I just read that to you, and now I'm gonna read to you the listening. I'm gonna kind of leave that up to your specific interpretation or let you interpret that how you want because I feel like it's very specific to whoever's watching it's going to hit different for each of you plus I don't want to stress myself out but anyway I had to lean back girl I'd be getting out of breath so we have drawing this symbol we're talking about the listening one drawing this symbol indicates that you are meant to listen to what others are saying with their gestures rather than their words and remember I said this because when we get to this five of swords and the seven of swords, yes, we're going to talk about this. A lot of air energy coming through. In my house of night, there will be a beautiful girl with skin the color of dark honey who has the gift of poetry. Some of you guys could be um, darker skin, you know, do poetry or that could be something you're into. Okay, period. She is able to weave tales with great detail and expression, yet without being obvious or straightforward. Reading between the lines, literally, that's the whole idea of this spread. Reading between the lines and finding true meaning are what are required right now. Listen and learn. What others don't say is what is important at this moment. Honey, let me tell you something. Let me tell you what's going to help this pile get ahead. I'm trying not to jump. Let me not jump ahead. But it has to do with this right here. We're going to get into it. Like this five of swords, when we get over there, I'm going to have to really like... Remember to say this, but, but anyway, okay. Cause I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Let's start at the top. Now that we got your theme out the way, let's start at the top. Hold on. I got to put up this spread. Here we go. Okay. So what energy is coming into the new year for this group? Again, I, I was getting a lot of straightforward messages, so I won't spend too much time, but one, you got the Knight of Cups. That's fulfillment to me, okay? That's a lot of things coming into um, or energy coming in that feels fulfilling. It feels like it woos you. It feels like like you ever had someone come in, say all the right things. Like it feels very nostalgic. It feels good. And you just feel like, ooh, like I'm even getting the chills how I'm talking about it. Some of you guys are really good with your words. Like you could definitely do poetry or write books. Mm -hmm, I see that. But it like strikes you in your emotions. Like, I like this. The way this energy is flowing, it's actually giving me energy. It's not taken from me. I love the, this vibe right here. But anyway, what energy is coming in? We have the Knight of Cups and we also have the Three of Cups. So for one, I do feel like this could be a good year for this group specifically to find love or have luck in love, have some meaningful relationships come about whether they're long term or just like little rendezvous coming through, it doesn't matter. I'm also seeing someone deepen the connection with the person that they're dating. You know, if you guys are already kind of on that level with each other, I could see that. This is almost coming through to me as like a proposal or like us heightening the commitment, heightening the intimacy in some type of way. So I do see that, you know, you guys starting off the year, whether it's January is how you start your year or airy season is starting your year i see that energy really being available to you i see a lot of celebrating you celebrating yourself people celebrating you celebrations going to um there's a lot of beauty here it feels very effortless like not even trying to hype y'all i just love this watery energy right here the best way i could describe it is like okay so I was going to tell y'all to close y'all eyes. I don't know where y'all at. And the fact that I'm being super descriptive is like, there's a vibe here. This feels like, let me see. Well, shit, I can't smoke right now. But let's say you could do like whatever you wanted to do, whether it was smoke, have a little drink. But boom, you get into this relaxed state. I just got me a spliff. 
I know I'm pregnant right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm not smoking, but let, let a girl just imagine for a second. So you get your spliff, do what you do. That's what you like to do. Or maybe, I don't know, you just read a good book. Oh, I love that. I love a good combination of a good book. You do what you need to, you get relaxed, you're chilling. Like, for example, so Bay just got us a zero gravity massage chair. So let's just say like, ideally, you got yourself in this zone, you feel super relaxed, you're now in the massage chair, you got your meditation going, you got your, um, I don't know, your little music, subliminal messages, things playing in the background, whatever it is that relaxes you, okay? And then you go to your room. Room is clean, okay? You already did everything that you needed to do. You don't feel like stress because you haven't been procrastinating on anything everything just feels effortless you lay down on some fresh clean sheets it feels great now what i'm describing might not be best for y'all but honey i like to keep my house cold you know you got the good breeze going on and you're under the warm blankets you got a heating pad you know possibly on your back like me and then you got a little ice on the shoulder you're drifting okay you sit back you're just floating. And then, you know, as you're getting super tired, you're like, yes, all I need is, this is what I be needing. <laughs> Let me find some white noise and just play it on the TV. Let me put my little astronaut on. Let it, you know, light up my room with the stars and the different colors, turn off all the lights. And let's just really get the mood popping, right? So I lay back, got the white noise going. And I'm just, you ever just smile in your bed? You ever be so comfortable in your bed that you just start smiling? I don't know. I'd be like that. You get under your covers and it's just like, ooh, like, would they be calling that the zoomies? I don't know. But anyway, you just sit back and it always, oh, this feeling like makes me think of like, there's this white noise that I um, listen to on YouTube. And the image that the white noise video has is like these clouds. It's, you know, it's real dark. It's a lot of like, soft whites dark blues kind of like a indigo almost like this type of energy that's kind of what it feels like like picture you're just on a cloud and you just vibing and it's just clouds all around you and you just on a cloud just vibing you feel good like everything just feels relaxed you feel on cloud nine that's how this energy feels to me now what is exciting or just luxurious or relaxing for you might be different but whatever it is for you, that's this feeling. This feeling just feels really good. Um, I feel like this is something that you'll go back to. I feel like for me, when I've had these times where I just felt really good and comfortable, it, it starts to become nostalgic. You know what I mean? It's just like this something, a memory I can always look back on and be like, ooh, nostalgia. Okay. But anyway, let me move on. Ooh, you see how I just kind of got like engulfed in that energy? That's how this feels like with this water. It feels like it kind of not drowns you but you know I guess drowns you but in a in a way that you would like you know it feels it feels really good it feels like drowning in bliss yes I like that anyway so oh I just went on to a whole nother thing hold on y'all I gotta get this <laughs> y'all should see what was on my phone but anyway so what do you need to know we have the seven of wands here <sighs> optimism is around the corner okay some of you guys could have had a really hard year me even talking the way i'm talking about what's coming in it you could even be like girl i'm in disbelief i don't even think that that's coming in like i don't even know how to take in that information or take in that feeling because i haven't felt that in a long time things been looking a little murky over here i don't even know how to like <laughs> you know really accept that message but regardless of the fact we have the seven of wands here I see you guys just pushing through, okay? What do you need to know is that all is not lost and things are going to get better. Things are going to be looking up. Things are going to become a lot more blissful and you're not gonna feel so stressed and overworked and just tired in comparison to maybe what you have been feeling over this last year, you know what I mean? That's how this is coming through. Now, I'm not saying all your problems is just going, you know, just float away, but there just seems to be a sense of ease. Even as we go into the next portion with this four of swords that's kind of sideways, what action do you need to take? It's almost like you guys are gonna be in this restful state, right? Um, this kind of, I think this came through in the last pile, I can't remember. There's some synchronicities here between the piles 
But um, yeah, look at her. She's just chilling. Like she's just doing her own thing. This just reminds me of like y'all remember like when I was at my old apartment, being in my bath, just being extra. Ooh, it feels luxe. It feels bougie. I like it. Um, but with that four of swords, it's almost like you're being asked to move gracefully. Okay. Take action when you feel like you need to. Handle responsibilities when you feel like you need to. But don't overwork yourself. That's one thing that's very big um, that's coming through for this pile. When it comes to what actions do you need to take, you don't have to overdo it. You don't have to do too much to kind of get into this energy, to align with this energy as far as, you know, this portion. Um, there's just this vibe of like, let it flow in. Prepare yourself by relaxing, opening up your, your mind to this free space or like allowing free energy to come in and, you know, making space for certain things, like allowing yourself to relax. Because some of you guys have been so tense and you see how she's looking down um, in this card. You haven't really been able to see, like, you know, she was to look up, she would see that there's a whole star, sunny horizon behind her, but she really hasn't had time to do so because she's too busy using her arms and all her freaking strength, trying to push all that darkness to the side. And I feel like um, when we do this transition, there's just this energy of like, give yourself grace as you move through this energy or just as you move through this, it's coming through as like six of swords. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we're about to push you through to calmer waters, to a calmer space. Um, don't necessarily brace yourself, but like just start to relax. Um, if someone, someone here is really into like meditation, um, this reminds me of, you know how they'll tell you to close your eyes and um, maybe like, what's the word? Like clench up your fists and then release them and then tighten up your arms and then release them so that you can relax your whole body like you do it with every part of your body that's how this feels okay with that four of swords so however that you know i don't know however you can like spin that to some type of action you know do you girl so when it comes to opportunities coming in i mean like look at this this is what i'm saying <sighs> this reminds me of pile one we have the ace of pentacles new money new business opportunities um new opportunities coming in for career um better foundational practices it just feels very like earthy very business like i don't know it's just very straightforward like new opportunities <laughs> a new seed being planted okay um opportunities for you to reinvent yourself you know what i mean you just look the fuck good like i'm i'm seeing really good energy around business your growth, your stability, your foundation. Um, this could even be like a new house, new job. It, it gives that. We also have this tower card, honey, reinventing yourself. Like whatever that is, straight up opportunities to reinvent yourself, to um, really like when it comes to your reputation or just how you like present yourself to the world, like really like coming in with something that you could be proud of or like changing the dynamic into something that you could be proud of. You know how sometimes we can get into these places where we just feel like we're taking up space. We're not really doing much. We're just like almost feel useless in a sense. You guys aren't going to be feeling like that. You're going to find purpose. That's how this feels. Opportunity to find purpose in yourself. And maybe even, you know, start aligning with your purpose. You know, who knows? We also got this Empress card, okay? Some of you guys, opportunities around building a family, having children, um, creating a business, expanding that business even more. I'm thinking of like, you know, when I think of the Empress, I don't know why. I just thought of like a pregnant woman. I mean, I know it shows up like that sometimes, but that's not what we see right here. But we do see all these little planets and everything like the universe, expansion, um, yeah, opportunities to expand in different areas. So think about that. That could be family, um, career development, monies. Okay. I see that here. Definitely looking very attractive, very comfortable. Okay. Very like, yes, I feel good. Like my cup is full. I feel bright, magnetic, um, I feel, I don't feel useless. I feel useful to myself, to other people naturally by just being me. Like I see that here. Okay. This is really good. Um, I also see those of you that may have businesses where you cater to women or you provide some type of product to women. Um, I see some really good success there. Um, 
makeup artist, really good success there. I'm seeing a lot of different career fields here, here though, like something with like artwork, beautifying, makeup, nails. But then I'm also seeing like <laughs> someone that is like they do something with money. I don't know. It could be like taxes. What's the other one? I can't even think of it right now. Um, starts with an A. Accounting work? I don't know. Something, girl. But whatever it is, it, it looks really the it looks good. The frick good. It, it does. Like, I like that. I love this for you. Now, as we move on to number five. <laughs> yeah. So, what obstacles and pitfalls do you need to look out for? <sighs> At the end of the day, it's who you work, it's who you work with and just who you trust. Um, because you guys have the three of pentacles and you have the five of wands. And for that to come up as pitfalls and, you know, things of that nature and obstacles, I feel like it's just how you collaborate with others. I do see you guys having people being envious, very competitive with you. And that might be something that you kind of have to deal with or find a way to navigate through. But I ain't worried, okay? Um... With this five of wands, let me see what else I can pull from this. Because this is very straightforward. I'm seeing this straight up as competition, okay? Um, like your biggest, it's not even like a pitfall. It feels like a challenge. It's like competition. Some of you guys definitely have a business and you're trying to be like, not that everybody can't eat, you know what I mean? But you guys are trying to be really good at what you do. I just see some competitive ass energy here. But give me a second. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. That's how it's coming through to me. <laughs> and there's multiple meanings from these cards that I could pull. But, like, it's really coming through as, like, um, competition. Beating out the competition. Um, possibly jealousy, envy. Um... You know, people being shady from a distance, but not even just that. Maybe even just you guys fighting for a specific spot. Like, it, it's more co so coming through as a challenge, okay? Some of you guys may stutter. I'm getting a lot of, like, Gemini energy here or something <laughs> going on. Um, Some of you guys may stutter or, like, when you get excited, your thoughts start going really fast and you start talking really fast. You could be from up north, I'll come back to that if I get anything else, but for whatever reason, because y'all know I like to go deep into cards, but like I'm just drawing like a, like I'm hitting a wall with that specifically. Now, what inspires your creative expression? We got the five of swords and the seven of swords. You guys are thinkers, researchers, um, very observant. This is the thing about this group, okay? Um, and I told, then I tell myself in the beginning, I'm like, ooh, make sure you remember to say X, Y, and Z when you get here. And look at me forgetting a mess. We got this fox here, this sneaky energy, a lot of Aquarius energy here. You guys, I feel like what inspires your creative expression is there's like this sense of just uniqueness. Okay. You guys can detach from everybody else's norm to create your own kind of realm okay it's very creative it's very unique it's very for some of you guys rebellious and it's very you it's very hard to copy you people may try but there's i don't really feel like there's anyone that could just like duplicate what it is that you do how you do it it's very like like you guys put your own stamp on things okay now what i will say is now <laughs> This is what's funny. This is going to sound bad to some people, but I see it here with the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords. I feel like for someone here, what inspires your creative expression is, and let me explain, other people's mistakes. Now hear me out. This to me is someone that can watch their competitors and see and collect information from them. Where it's like you're watching what they do. You're seeing like that, hey, they may be falling short in this area. Or you're seeing that maybe people aren't liking that this said company is offering products in this way. Or they label things in whatever way. 
So you're very observant in like taking in that information. You don't have to speak to someone. No one has to come and tell you anything, but you're just observing like what people want, what they don't want, what's working, what's not working. And then you're able to be like, okay, I can bring this over here. And it's not even in a, a way of copying whatever's happening. It's like you're, you're using that to inspire your ideas on what you're not going to do. Okay, it like it sets the stage on how you're going to be different. Well, you see that this person doesn't offer this service. So you offer that service. Okay, or you find that on the market, people aren't really um, creating a product to address these specific issues. Instead, they're just focused on X, Y and Z. So what do you do? You create a product that, um, you know, fills that gap and it becomes something that's very successful for you. Yeah, I just feel like. When you guys learn, like even outside of that, learning, observing, taking in information, you guys are the types that I feel um, could be sitting in bed just like watching random stuff. Like, <laughs> like I do this, but I feel like, <laughs> so it's not weird to me, but just watching the most random of things. Like this is real Aquarius energy. Um, you might, guys might know facts about stuff that you're like, dang, how did I know that? But I could just see you guys wanting to learn, wanting to digest information. Um, and you guys get inspired by many things. Like you could be, I don't know, riding in the car, just taking in information, you know, because as we look at things, we take in information technically. And I feel like you guys just get inspired by that and boom, ideas form. And I feel like that's why I'm getting all this fast motion energy because the motivation, the inspiration, the ideas, and the channeling, it can come pretty fast to this group from what I'm picking up on. Um, but also with this Five of Swords and this Seven of Swords, I also feel like, I think I gave Pile, the last Pile, this message. Let me take a drink of my water. Mm, girl, let me tell you something. <laughs> Girl, not my camera cutting off. I know that clip better be there. I know it better cut off or better had cut off because we hit our 30 minutes and it better not have just cut off just to cut off. Anytime that happens, I lose I lose the whole clip and then I just don't come on here. But anyway, yes, like ice water. Oh, it's so different. But anyway, with this Seven of Swords and this Five of Swords, I also feel like what can fuel your creative expression, and I think I talked about this in the last pile, is, um, like I said, when people underestimate you, like when people betray you, when they try to, like when they're, they're sneaky, like it almost feels like your downfalls can be um, motivational in a sense. You know what I mean? Like if someone spites you or if... Um, like I was saying to the last pile, if there's a breakup or someone says that you can't do something or they try to dog you, once you get past those emotions, you're like, oh, I'll show them. Not that you just do it to like prove a point, but when people underestimate you, you're like, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> that really like lights me up. You know what I mean? That really puts a fire under that tail, okay? That's how it feels to me with this Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords. You guys could be my people that like, if a breakup happens, honey, like when you fall down, you come back 10 times harder. Like that's how this feels to me. Or if a breakup happens, like, I don't know, it, it like restarts you, it reboots you. Okay. And you get re-motivated. Um, next thing you know, you're working on your body, this and that. And like, I don't know, there's just this real big fuel that I feel like can come up when things Maybe you don't feel the greatest, you know what I mean? Or things that happen. But anyway, I don't want to drag it. Moving forward, girl. So we talked about what inspires your creative expression. Now, this is where I'm just going to like say the cards because, honey, I'm hungry. I'm starving. I'm starving. I'm getting shaky. But <laughs> we have how can you align yourself more with what's coming in? Now, this is crazy. We have... A major arcana well all of these are major arcana but we have the hangman pisces energy we have the magician gemini virgo energy we have the devil capricorn energy and we got the queen of pentacles honey this is giving like be a boss that's what this is giving me so with this hangman how could you align i feel like 
there's this energy of know your worth. Um, make sacrifices where you need to. Pay attention to what needs to go. Pay attention to what works. Pay attention to when you need to sit back and when you need to push forward, okay? Use that to your advantage. There's like this energy of you guys just knowing when to kind of like... It's not giving sit in the bushes. Y'all ever heard that song? Um, Fredo in the Cut. That's a scary sight. I don't know. Then I start thinking about Scarface. She got on my nerves, girl. If you know, you know. Anyway, there's just this energy of like you sitting back, being able to like perceive, take things in, in a way that puts you ahead of, well, just ahead period, but even ahead of others. Because it feels like the people around you, they move too hastily, but you kind of sit back, take things in, peep the scenery, and then you're able to act on that in a way that really helps you to get ahead, okay? Anyway, I got lost in the sauce. Yeah, with that hang muse, I really feel like allow your intuition to just like really guide you. Make the sacrifices where you need to, reflect where you need to. Moving on to this magician card, honey. Like, y'all have a lot of different facets to you. Um, explore that. Remember that you have everything that you need in order to progress forward. It's already in you, okay? Um, you guys are very talented, very good with words, naturally talented, let me say that. And I feel like, this is crazy, things may move very quickly for you. Or at least like once you get into a specific energy, like this energy feels very quick. Um, it just comes about. But I just feel like, you know, practice those talents, you know, put it out there, put yourself out there. Like once you reflect, sit on the ideas, do what you need to do, then put it out there. That's how you can align with this energy. OK, put it out there, practice your crafts, you know, make them better. Also with this devil card. Hold on, girl, I need some water. Because I'm zoning, girl. I'm zoning. Stick with me. Stick with me. With this devil card. This to me, um, I think of like self-mastery. Be a little selfish a little bit. I don't know why that's coming through for y'all, but be a little selfish a little bit. Um, allow yourself to indulge in certain pleasures. You know, this is what this is giving me. Indulging in certain pleasures and those certain desires. Allowing that to kind of like see where it takes you. I do feel like this group... Very artistic energy. Sometimes you got to go into those desires and allow yourself to be drawn into that so you can see where it takes you. This is making me think of that movie. It was a scary movie, though, so I probably should not use that as a reference. I won't. <laughs> she had him visualize certain things and then like they had to draw like how that made them feel. But it's a scary movie, so it's probably not the best um, example. So moving forward. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. that ice I ain't never liked ice either y'all my iron is low but anyway yeah this is just giving me like I said self mastery allowing yourself to indulge in certain desires certain even materialistic wants you know some people like they'll demonize money and stuff like that like allow yourself to indulge in that that's how this feels like I don't know you're being asked to kind of go into this be selfish um there was another word. I'm missing it. Hold on. I think I wrote this down. Give me a second. Yeah, don't let other people run over you. Let that inner passion kind of shine through. Be ambitious. And you know, it is telling you to be competitive too. I ain't gonna lie. Maybe some of you guys, I don't know. I'll let you kind of interpret that the way you need to. Like, don't be scared to be competitive and really put it out there. Like everything that you could do, like put it all on the table. Um, because I really feel like you guys are meant to be very successful, period. Whether it's with business, with something that you do, very successful. You guys give Queen of Pentacles energy. Be in that energy. Be in that mode. Be mature. Hold yourself accountable, of course. And act accordingly. But also, like, just move like a businessman or woman. It just, that's how it's coming through to me. But yeah, you guys, I, I feel like that's all I got to say. I wanted to deliver that message, that last little punch a little bit better, but I'm starving. I'm starving. Babe, why is he so freaking loud? Oh, is the pizza here? Is that the pizza? Oh, girl, I gotta go. Yeah, mm-hmm. See, that was right on the die. That was right there. 
So yeah, you guys, you know, interpret how you must. A lot of major arcana. I'm gonna let you do the rest. I believe in y'all. I believe in this group. So I'm gonna leave it there because I gotta go. I'm starving. So yes, Father, that was your spread. Please let me know how it resonates. And I will see you guys down below in the comments.